Hi, um, I'm Kath Kelly, I'm your Chief Executive. We're in early September and today I'm doing team brief from the HSDU department here at the George Elliott Hospital. And this month we're going to focus on a really important group of staff. And I understand, Graeme, you've got a team of about 35 porters, is that right? That's right, yeah. And can you sort of tell us what a normal day might be like and what the role of the porter is? The role of the porter is very uh, customer driven. We rely on the needs of the patients and the staff to decide what we need to do on each of every day, whether it be x-ray department transfers from the wards to the x-ray and back again, or whether it be food trolleys taken from the kitchens to the wards, beds from the bed area we're in now to the wards, depending on their needs. And you're telling me you've worked here for what, six years now? Around six years, yes. And you were in the police force before then, is I that right? Indeed, yes. That's right. So you've come over to the George Elliot, and do you like working here with us? I thoroughly enjoy working here. The staff are superb, yeah. they really are. They're very committed. Porters really are the unsung heroes of the trust. They have such a pivotal role because if we didn't have them moving equipment, getting equipment to the patients on time, then our patients could be compromised and it's just not acceptable. They collect fully decontaminated mattress, take it to the ward, make sure it gets served to the patient when it's needed. Yeah. And they have the reverse role, that when the mattress is finished, they're the ones collecting it. It can be in the middle of the night, it can be any time. And I was seeing down in HSDU all the cleaning and disinfecting that, again, members of the team that we don't normally see mm. have such a part to play, don't they? Yeah, we have a designated gentleman, Dave, who cleans the beds to make sure all the bed frames go out clean to the patients. But yeah. our specialised therapy mattresses, they're sent off site for full decontamination after every single patient. And that is gold standard. There's not everywhere does that. So, you know, we do protect our patients, not just from the skin harm, but infection harm as well. It, every service tends to link in. So I've just got a few messages now to share with you from the Trust Board. We have our monthly board meetings, as you know, and last week we met and we were having a look at where we sat at month four. And on the whole, for the George Elliott Hospital, in terms of delivering across a number of our key performance targets, about maintaining quality and safety, we're doing really well. So a big thank you to everybody that's continuing to deliver day in, day out, high quality and safe care. The challenge that has come through, and you probably will have seen this nationally, is where a significant number of hospitals are struggling with their financial challenges. And we just had a confirmation from the TDA that we now have to introduce a new stretch financial target. So this means that we've got to actually secure more savings, which is bringing down our agreed target of 16 million down to 13.9. So that's an extra 2.1 million, which is a lot of money. Um, but we've got to put those actions in place to really make sure that we make a difference. So I'm asking everybody to maintain that focus on controls, particularly across agency and locums making sure that we are not uh, utilising expensive WLIs, making sure that we're all contributing to the transformation agenda, looking at more efficient and productive ways to do things. Something else that we've been involved in uh, during the month of August is something that's really quite exciting and it's about looking at new models of care. And you'll have heard me talk about in the past the five-year forward view, our clinical strategy and about the way that we need to change the way that we do things and become more flexible in the way that we provide services. So the, uh, the CCG have actually put out an invitation for something called Most Capable Provider in the provision of out-of-hospital services. And we feel that we can really add value to the patient's pathway as it cuts across both primary, secondary and community care. We're going to invite a number of clinicians to come along to our workshops that we're setting up so that we can start to define what a great pathway of care would look like and how we can work more effectively with our partners across social care, partnerships, trust, uh, community trusts and GPs. So please look out for those workshops. I want to share with you now some good news stories and at the board last week it was very pleasing to see that we've actually secured some further investment in developing services. Well last week we've also agreed to invest in a further MRI scanner, some new autoclaves and also to get the theatre refurbishment 
underway. So again, always continuing to improve the environment for our patients. I'm delighted to share with you that just recently we've been nominated for an award. It's called the Butterfly Award and it's to recognise the services that the maternity department uh, provide with their bereavement link service and that's about supporting families who've just lost a baby and it's something that we can feel really very proud of and just a big thank you out there to all those working in maternity supporting this. During September we have got the launch of the National Staff Survey and this year for the first time a number of surveys will be emailed to staff and I think about 700 are going to come through to the George Eliot. I'd just like to ask everybody to do their best to complete these questionnaires, whether they get them online or they get them through a hard copy. I'm delighted to announce that uh, we've appointed the new Director of Nursing and her, her name is Michelle Norton and she's starting with us next month actually on the 5th of October. I know that she's met quite a few people and I know that she's very much looking forward to starting work with us. At the same time as welcoming Michelle, we're saying a fond farewell to Julie Whittaker. Uh, Julie, I know, will be known to a lot of you. She spent a lot of time working with us here at the Elliot and also in the local area and is sort of part of the family, really, both at the George Elliot and in the surrounding areas. And we just want to wish Julie Whittaker all the very best for her retirement. I hope that she stays in the best of health and stays happy. And we shall miss you here from the George Elliot. Julie, all the best.